Monocle from Coin Collecting and Detecting. Um, and this is the Damascus Steel that is giving, I'm giving away through the YouTube channel uh, giveaway. So you just gotta be subscribed to my YouTube channel. And this is the original tool, the original one that I use to open the coin rolls. Um, and yeah, gonna be giving it away. And that's because I've got some other ones. So this one here is gonna be my new one that I'm gonna be using. And it's got a sweet pattern through here on the top there, little grip um, pattern there. And um, yeah, check out that design of the Damascus steel. That's so cool. So pumped about that. Got a little emblem on here for my brother. So my brother makes these and uh, sort of makes this more of a hobby and um, he does a great job with them. So this is the OG original one and I'm gonna be giving it away. So um, yeah, just gotta be subscribed to my YouTube channel and you're in the draw. So um, yeah, there we go. So I'll put that aside and I'll use this one from now. And I've actually got three other Damascus steels that I'm gonna be sharing on videos too. So. So, um, and the rest of the other ones have got coins inlaid into them. So check those out in a moment. But um, let's go to check a few comments here. Antonio, g'day, how's it going? Beautiful, love it. Yeah, good, good. Good morning, Michael, g'day. Um, how's the day going? Good, thanks, John, good. Hey, mate. All right, let's go. So what should I start with? I'll start with a 50 cent roll and we'll go from there. So here we go back with the Damascus, opening these rolls up. See if we've got a bit of luck with having the Damascus. Ooh, it's good to be back. The first roll of open with um, Damascus probably in a couple of months. Michael, good luck with the $2 rolls. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. Let's get a bit of zoom on these. I put a new red poppy into circulation last night. Ah, oh, there you go, Pokemon. I did see that video. Um, Can I ask um, why? Why you put that back into circulation? Yeah, interesting. Oh, is it so that people can maybe find it? Yeah. Oh, here we go. This one's got uh, that crop circles. This is a 2014. And, um, oh, got to get my little pointer here. That little um, circle of uh, detail there, that's called a crop circle. So some prices on these. I don't think they fetch a huge price. Um, <laughs> having said that, there's one that sold for $67. So, oh, there you go. So $67, one of those sold for. It must have been, I don't know, that's um, quite a high price. So uh, that sort of surprised me. But there you go. That's why it's um, interesting to keep a track on the prices because they can change and you can get things out of the box like that. <clears throat> okay, excuse me. A 1974 lower mintage. This one's in pretty good condition. $1.50 to $20. Pokemon, I was bored. Though someone who noodles would be happy to find it. Yeah, they sure would be. Man, that'd be... A huge surprise and um, a welcome surprise to anyone who finds a red poppy. So that's a very kind of you to spread the joy to people. That's um, yeah, very good stuff. I like it. Um, 2021 $2 Henry the Octopus on eBay prices are all over the place. Yeah, just make sure, Johnny, with those prices, make sure you filter the search to sold items to see what they've actually been selling for because people can list them for whatever they want to list them for, but it's only when people buy them that you know that, okay, that's what someone's willing to pay for. <clears throat> okay. 1996, there's a few years where they didn't produce them for circulation, but they, like for 1992s, they didn't make 1992 50 cent coins for circulation, but they still made them for mint sets, and sometimes they end up in circulation. This one's not in great condition, so I'll let that go. Vegemite coins are launching tomorrow's. Tomorrow's a Cool, nice. Thomas, I have a two 2022 red poppy brand new encasing. That's awesome, Thomas. Yeah, congratulations. Might be a happy bank worker today at ANZ Branch. Okay, there was an ANZ Branch that um, that $2 coin was deposited into, that red poppy. <clears throat> okay, let's do a 10 cent roll. Let's do a 10 cent roll. All right. Yeah, and with this new Damascus steel, it's got a a bit more of a pronounced um, bottle opener sort of hook here. Um, yeah, so it, it's sort of funny. It looks a bit like a like a dragon's mouth or something like that. <laughs> so um, it's cool. Pokemon, I went directly into the, the coin machine. Apparently they are sealed bags. Yeah, so I think that's what happens with um, the coin machines that they get sort of sent off to maybe the security companies that um, roll them up again and distribute them out, out to different banks. Where do you get your coin uh, your coin rolls from? My bank won't sell me any. Um, oh, it just depends on the bank. Like, oh, I go to a few different banks 
But um, yeah, I live in Ocean Grove, Victoria, and the local bank branches in Ocean Grove, they don't have coins in coin rolls. Um, so yeah, I have to go to banks a bit further afield to uh, get my coins in rolls. Uh, got your coin book downloaded yesterday. It was so helpful with my change. Found some goodies. Ah, nice one. Shh. Um, yeah, I've got coin listed available through the link in my TikTok account. So that sounds like what um, shh. <laughs> that's their username. Downloaded yesterday. That's cool. Same, same. I'm unsure. Either way, someone would be happy. So with the 10 cent coins, I'm looking for 2011s, 1985s, 1991s. 1997s, um, 2016 changeover coins, uh, the 2018 10 cent coins, the 2019 JC effigy, so the effigy with the necklace on the coin, not that one, but a different one, the new one. <clears throat> so that's what I'm looking for on the 10 cent coins. And haven't come up with anything yet, and that's and that's why because they're a bit harder to find those things that I'm looking for, and that's why they're worth a little bit more because they're a bit rarer and they're a bit harder to find. Let's do a one dollar roll. <clears throat> Thanks for the roses, appreciate that. I have a rare coin that I found and was wondering how would you sell it? You can sell it on eBay, so you can list them on eBay and try and sell them on eBay. There's also some Facebook groups where you can sell coins. I think one's called Australian Coins Banknotes Collectibles and another one's called Australian Specialty Coins Buy and Sell. I'm not personally on Facebook myself, so I don't know how that works, but um, yeah, a few different options. Hey mate, g'day Jeremy, how's it going? If I get any in the ballot or the other collector I was holding for, I'm going to give another. Ooh, okay, there you go. Women's suffrage is not in great condition. The detail is pretty sort of worn off the faces there, so I'll let that one go. Well, let's hope this one is not a 2014. So 22 million of these were minted in 2014. and But all of the other years, they're worth holding on to. So let's check the date. Yeah, 2014. So I'll let that go. David, hey, Michael, how's it going? Going well, thanks. Yeah. Actually, I didn't get a live search in yesterday, so um, yeah, looking, it's good to get back on a live search today. Do you spend your time all day doing coins? No, I don't, Josh, no. no. Like I just said then, I didn't do a live search yesterday. Um, hey, hey, mate, clear something up for me, please. Years ago, I heard a rumor some $2 coins had only four stars. I don't really know. I don't know um, about that. Sorry, I can't climb up your rumor. Um, this one is a donation dollar. Ethan, hey, appreciate the gifts there. Thanks, Ethan. It's in pretty good condition, the donation dollar, but it's only a 2022 coin in that it's only a couple of years old, so it's pretty fresh anyway. But some prices on these um, $1 coins. Um, where are we at? Donation dollar, $1.50 to $5. So coin collectors tend to, it, you collect in different ways, but coin collectors like to collect one coin from each year. And they'll want to collect a donation dollar as well for their collection, so I have an example of that. And that's why the price is about a dollar to five dollars. I know a lot of people donate them, which is which is up to individuals, so yeah. Um, but yeah, some people still collect them in their collections. I'll put it aside just for out of interest sakes. We can talk about it in the end. Where do you buy your rolls from? I get them from banks, but only certain banks stock them, um, stock coins in rolls, but um, different locations. I go to different locations as well, so I don't just go to one one bank type or bank branch. And out of, um, I won't sort of mention it specifically which branches, because I think I have sort of mentioned it to, in some responses to questions and so on. and. That bank sort of got hammered a fair bit, I think, with a lot of people going there. So the the bank sort of introduced limits and stuff like that. And so I might just sort of, 
yeah, if you check around, you just got to ask around at different bank branches. Usually banks in bigger towns and bigger um, cities and stuff like that are more likely to have coins in rolls and stuff like that. But um, come on, waver. Yeah, that's right. 20 cent coins. Amber, I found a $1 coin with the red back spider design on it with the letter R. Is it worth anything? That's from the great Aussie coin hunt. So anywhere from about $2 to $8 they can sell for. Um, yeah. So the letter R, each letter of the alphabet is sort of featured on those great Aussie coin hunt coins with some sort of Aussie type theme, depending on which letter it is. Nice. Found a red poppy 2012 yesterday. Should I get it graded? And it's in real good condition. Man, that's awesome, Barry Mount. Jeez, um, a red poppy. That's one of the holy grails of uh, circulating coins to find. So congratulations on that. Yeah, I probably would get it graded. Yeah. PCGS. And I'm going to get some coins graded in the next little while. So... Um, I think a lot of people go through Imperial Coins in Australia, so you can jump on their website and you can request a little pack and they send out some info on how to submit the coin and then they they will then you send the coins off to them and then they send them on to PCGS in America. And it takes about it takes about three months to get the coins back, I've heard. Yeah, and then um but it generally adds value to your coins because you know it's been the coins verified and graded and people probably appreciate that coin collectors appreciate knowing okay this is exactly what um, PCGS say it is and this is the grade they say it is and it just adds adds a bit of value to a coin and if you look at prices on eBay like things that have sold and some of those rarer coins that have sold like uh, say like a red poppy 2012 poppy the ones that have been graded by PCGS, like they're probably more likely to be the ones that are sold for a lot higher price. Um, why are the 2001 year coins rotated for these coins and the $1 coins, but not other years? Well, some coins can be rotated on other years, but I'm not too sure. Maybe the machines that uh, were striking the coins has had a little bit of an issue in 2001, but I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, the, two, the 20 cent coins can be rotated, but... I've only ever found one rotation on a $1 coin, so it's pretty rare. But I did see another video just uh, yesterday, the day before, of someone finding one of those too, so super pumped for them as well. 1890, something to 1910 pennies or half pennies. Uh, I must have missed the first part of your question there, Mark. I'm not, I'll just scroll back and see if I can find the first part of your question. So I'm not sure what the question is. 1890 something to 1910 pennies or half pennies. But what's the question? Sorry, I'm not sure what the question is. Um, they would be UK pennies. It's in Australia that they started minting pennies and half pennies in. I think it was about 1910, 1911. How do you store the coins you collect? Oh, in different ways. Like some of them in, um, some of them I store in two by twos like this. Uh, Matrix 2x2. Two two. These are Lighthouse brand. It's got a little lighthouse and a little symbol there. Um, and then I, some of them I've got in these Quadrum Intercept holders, uh, little cases with a bit of foam around them that you can put in there. And then there's also these other ones called Magic Capsules for for coins too. The, it's like the coins are a bit suspended in in midair and you can see all, sort, all the sides and everything like that. Um, and then there's folders, lots of different sorts of options for folders and um, containers and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so what's number? What's the average cost to get coins graded? It's a, I think it's about thirty-five, forty dollars um, per coin. Depends what you what you do because I think it's about thirty-five dollars for circulating coins. But then you can pay an extra five dollars to have the photos. You get these special photos. And the photos, people you generally tend to use those photos on if you're listing them on eBay. Um, so you can see both sides of the coin. It's got the official um, number for the coin with the PCS logo on the photo that you can put on eBay. But even for your own peace of mind, just having those photos, the really good high quality photos of the coin 
Yeah, so that costs an extra five dollars. So it's about forty dollars. Um, but then there'd be postage charges probably in there as well. But um, yeah, roughly forty odd dollars. But I haven't done it myself yet, so I'm getting a pack sent out to me at the moment. But yeah, on the website when from Imperial Coins, it, it's about forty dollars. I think I've watched a few videos on YouTube. Um, PJ's Coin Capers. He did a video a couple of months ago, I think, about it. So I watched that, and yeah, um, 2019. JC Effigy $2 coin. Um, a little bit of a lower mintage. I'll just check my list. 2019 JC. It's $7 to $16. Only 2 million of that coin were minted. So I'll put that aside. How about paper bills? Yeah, the paper bills can be worth a fair bit, but it just depends on the particular note. So yeah, you've got to look up individually. There's a good book, Renex Australian Coin and Banknote Values. So you can check them out there. Morning, Michael. How are you? Going well, thanks. Are you getting your wavy graded? Yes, I am. Yeah. David, you also want to get insurance when sending to the US. Yeah, so that's the benefit of going through Imperial Coins. When I called them up and spoke to them, and um, once like you send your coins to Imperial Coins, um, and then from that, they're, in, they're insured from Imperial Coins. So Imperial coins insure them, sending them over to the US and back. Um, and you declare what value the coin is, like you write it on the forms and stuff like that that you're submitting. Yeah. But um, yeah, when you're sending your coins to Imperial coins, you yeah you might want to sort of look at options there. I'd probably definitely do registered post. Um, yeah, Nelly, how's it going? Um, when you're sending them to Imperial coins. 20 cent coins. Tax. Nah, not tax. Hey, Michael. So great to see you. Yeah, appreciate that, Cargill. Um, Judy, love your guide and videoed. Cool, nice. Did you get another wavy? I did find a wavy last week. Yeah, super excited. Man, I, I couldn't believe it. Uh, David, I sent a coin through Imperials last month and it cost $120. You sent so it cost one hundred and twenty dollars. A um, bit more information, please, because on the forms it says forty dollars for grading with the PCGS. Um, yeah. Morning, Michael. Day, Scott. Can I see? Ah, uh, yes, you can. Yeah, I'll just I'll get it in a moment. This one looks like it's been sandblasted or something like that. I'll let it go. Okay, this is the wavy baseline. Try and get in the right light. So, yeah, you get in the right light, you can sort of see it a bit better. And the light's sort of shining sort of down on top of it. You can see the bump across the bottom of the two. So, it's um, quite a circulated coin. Um, but that's expected from a coin from 1966. It's a fairly long time ago. It's been wandering around circulation. So super excited about that. How much is it worth? Oh, between some recent selling prices on those particular 20 cent coins, um, $250 to $400. So anywhere in that sort of range. Ray, hey, what website is trustworthy as I have 250p coins that a website I'm using says is worth 2,600 pounds. Um, I'll probably touch base because you're in the UK. Probably touch base with uk.coin.hunt. Um, he's got a TikTok channel and he's he's all across the values and things like that. So maybe touch base with him and ask ask what he would suggest over there in the UK because it might be slightly different in Australia to the UK. How about the $1 coin with the HH on it? Do you mean the $2 coin with the HH on it? Yeah, very common, those $2 with the HHs on it. So I'll do a $2 roll in a moment, and we'll find I'll, there'll probably be about between three and six out of the whole roll that will have the HH on it. So they're pretty easy to find. How much are the Australian Taxation Office 20 cent coins? I don't really keep a track on those, actually. Next month, I'll put them on my coin list, but I haven't got them on the coin list at the moment because they're a bit of a higher mintage, slightly higher mintage. And um, probably not as desirable, I suppose, as a collector coin. 
maybe it's not everyone's favourite government department, but um, it is what it is. No shade to the to the people that work there or anything, but um, yeah. Me and my mum have a whole tub of 50p coins. Awesome, Ray. Bo, I usually find just uh, usually find just as much, if not more, coins out of the bags as the rolls. Yeah, that's right. So, um, the main reason I get coins in rolls is because because I take all these coins back to the bank and put them through the coin deposit machine. It's so much easier to put it through a coin deposit machine. The banks that have the coin deposit machines generally stock their coins in in rolls like this, and I usually just pick up coins straight away from the same bank. But um, on the odd occasion. I'll go to different banks that have um, their coins in bags like this. These are the bank bags, so I've got a $2 bag there, so I'll be checking through that another time. Are the Captain Cook 50 cent coins worth much? Um, some prices on the Captain Cooks, the 1970s, $1.30 to $5. There's some recent prices on those. Let's do a 10 cent roll. Get some of that paper off. Are Australian pennies worth much? Oh, it depends on the penny. Generally speaking, a couple of dollars each, but depending on the year and the condition, the condition can play a big part. So. If you've got a really good condition one, fifty, hundred dollars, but um, yeah, it really depends. If you jumped on eBay and searched up a particular year that you might have on a penny, and filtered your search to sold items, you'd see some prices that they've been selling for, and and then also try and match up the condition of your coin with one that's sold to get a bit of a feel for how much your condition would sell for. What camera do you use? I've just used my phone, my iPhone um, 12 Pro Max. Yeah. Oh, I hope your day is good. Thank you. Yeah, going well. Thanks, Marius. All right. So looking for 2011s, 1985s, 1991s, 1997s, 2018s, 2019 JC. So that's a 2019 IRB. So just below the neck, there's IRB, Ian Rank Broadly, that design. But uh, the 2019 with the necklace on the Queen, um, the JC design, that's a bit rarer. And also the changeover 10 cent coin from 2016. And no luck there. Um, hi from Albany, or Alabama, Albany, Alabama in the US. G'day, how's it going? GT, got to go, take care all, enjoy your day. Yeah, appreciate that, Coinsmurf, yeah. Did I sort of see some bit of commentary there that maybe you might have had a, um, or your partner might have had a baby? That's um, that's awesome if that's what's happened. Um, cool, hopefully everything goes well. Hello from the USA, g'day Antonio. What time is it in the USA? What is it? 11.24 a.m. here in Victoria, Australia. It's probably maybe the middle of the night over there in the US. Do you actually make money from this or is this just a hobby? Just searching coins is more of a hobby for me. Yeah. But you can sell coins and there'll be plenty of people who do make it as like a, at least a part-time thing or a full-time thing selling coins. Yeah. 1997 is not in great condition, this coin, but... Lower mintage coin, um, $1.80 to $24.50. Um, I'll let it go just because of the condition. I've got a lot of them. 15 hours behind. Okay, so 6.24 p.m. in Texas. Okay. Australia has such cool coins compared to the UK. Uh, yeah. On the 15th of the 11th. Okay, yeah. A little bit further ahead, aren't we? Just on the time zones. Okay, 2018 50 cent coin, a little bit lower mintage as well. Um, 4.6 million, $2 to $9.50. I'll put it aside. 
Will you ever do a video of your full collection? Oh, I don't know, maybe, but um, I've got so many things in different places and things like that. It'd take a long time to do that. Um, it's a bit all over the place. I probably should get a bit more organized with it. Furfy's Tales, hi there. Do you have any thoughts on coins becoming obsolete given people don't carry much change? Uh, I don't really have much thoughts on it. I don't really know exactly what's gonna happen. So yeah, not, not, not too sure. I think the coin collecting community is probably keeping things propped up a little bit more too because we're getting so many coins out of the banks to search that um, they're probably, when they do the, evaluate their figures on how much coins turning over, <laughs> there's probably a fair amount of coin turning over because of us coin collectors searching coins like this. John, hi Michael, what's your YouTube channel again? It's called Coin Collecting and Detecting. Yeah, Coin Collecting and Detecting. And an easy way to get to it if you click on my TikTok profile picture um, when it goes to my TikTok account there's a little play button that you can click on in my profile my TikTok profile that goes straight to my YouTube channel so have you found a mule no I haven't found a mule no no Ooh, 2022 latest issue 20 uh, two dollar coin some prices on these but they've They've been flooded. There's a fair few of these came out recently. So $3.20 to $7 are some prices on these, but a lot have been released into circulation just recently. So a lot more out there at the moment. Bo, have you found a mule? No, I haven't found a mule. 1998 is a bit of a lower mintage year on a $2 coin. So what have we got? $3.25 to $30, 8.7 million. I'll put that aside. There's a HH. So someone was asking about the HH before. So that'll be a, probably a 1988. It's actually 1989. Did you see I ground a 2004 20 cent pointy? I tagged you. Do you see I ground? Oh, do you mean found? I uh, found a 2000. Well, that's awesome. Congratulations. What is a mule? A mule is a $1 coin from 2001. Oh, sorry, 2000. I'll show you a picture in a moment. This is a few HHs right there. Um, all right, I'll get a picture of a mule. Okay, so this is a $1 mule coin. So it's just a standard $1 coin from the year 2000. But what happened was that this side of the coin was accidentally stamped with a 10 cent die. The, and the die is the design that strikes the coin, uh, puts the design to the coin. And because the 10 cent coin is a little bit smaller than a $1 coin, the, the die strike, it's created this double rim effect on the coin. Um, on year 2000 coins. Now only a certain number of these coins got out with that particular feature, probably a few thousand, I suppose. Um, and that's called a $1 mule coin. And it's called a mule because it's a cross between two coins. It's got a, it's a $1 coin with a 10 cent coin feature on the, the back of the coin. And yeah, one sold for $6,900 in perfect condition a few years ago, but generally in quite worn condition between about three and $600. Um, so this is from my free guide. Um, six valuable coins you should be looking for worth up to $6,900. So you can get that if you click on my profile picture and then click on the link that's below the Australian flag in my profile. It goes to my link tree and then you can um, get this free guide through there. Yep. Cool. All right then, well, that's pretty much my search done. Um, yeah, appreciate everyone jumping on. Apologies if I didn't see your question or your comments in the comments, but um, just so the nature of it when I'm searching coins I'm sort of looking at the coins a fair bit but um, appreciate everyone being here and um, good luck with your searches and I hope you all have a great day and um, back on with another live tomorrow so I might see some of you then cool all right catch you later